Hey everyone, it's Ian K back again with another one for you. This time headed into The Habit to check out a brand new burger they've got going that looks to be bringing some south of the border goodness to the menu. That's right, it's the Guacamole Crunch Char Burger and it's actually the first Char Burger I'm reviewing here on the channel. So let me run inside real quick to scoop this up and then we'll definitely keep this out. You gotta respect the burger, so says the habit, and this all-new guacamole crunch char burger sure looks pretty respectable with that tostada shell sticking out the middle there, and a little bit of that guacamole peeking out. Let's pop the top of the seated bun and see what we've got underneath. It is slightly toasted on that bun, actually, guys. Looking pretty nice, you can see the marks there. We've got a decent portion of that guacamole mixed with a little bit of pico. That tostada shell looking really nice. It covers everything underneath this burger, guys. It's perfectly sized. Let's lift this up further. We've got some white American and their famous char burger underneath that, guys. Looking really, really nice and crispy. That cheese slice is covering it pretty nicely as well. Let's lift this up a little further and see what we've got. Normally tomato, but plenty of lettuce and some of that ancho chili lime crema sauce on the very bottom there as well. Looking pretty nice. Looks like we've got some pickles too, guys. Really nice combination of flavors on this one and a very cool presentation, especially with that tostada shell right there in the middle and a decent portion of that guac. But let's give this one a shot. It's the guacamole crunch char burger here at The Habit. Let's peep out this flavor. Fresh, never frozen beef is the order of the day and it sure looks pretty awesome with everything around it. Let's dive in. It's the new guacamole crunch char burger here at The Habit. Mmm. Mmm, that fresh beef instantly makes the difference on this one, guys. And it's a little on the messy side already with that ancho chili lime sauce dripping off the bottom. I'm getting a little bit of a hint of mayonnaise in that, but it's got like a little bit of a spicy type of kick to it, which is not bad. But guys, the crunch of that tostada shell and then the fresh beef flavor instantly pops on this one. Delicious. Mmm. That guacamole is super fresh, and I gotta say, it goes so nicely with the pickle juice from the pickles themselves. Mmm. Just a delicious combination of flavor. You know, in all seriousness, if this was just called the guacamole char burger, it would be fine just as is. But with that crunch factor in the middle, it is a cool effect, but it's not really necessary because the flavors of everything else overtake the flavor of that tostada shell. And that's not really a bad thing because it's the crunch that they're going for here with this one, but it's really the ancho chili lime sauce and the pickles that are really doing it, guys, on top of the fresh beef. Very delicious, and then you get some really rich, smooth guacamole. Yes, it's another mouthful of a breakdown, but guys, all the flavors on this deserve that detailed breakdown. It's a pretty nice combination combination and again the smooth richness of that guacamole is pretty awesome I'm not really tasting any of the pico that's minced into it and I'm really glad about that considering I did leave off the tomato but guys the signature char burger here at the habit is truly something special again it's fresh never frozen beef and that caramelized edges that you get around the beef itself very flavorful with a slight saltiness that is just reminiscent of a really good home style type of burger and like I mentioned earlier, that mayo-like ancho chili lime crema sauce on the very bottom, while I'm not a fan of mayo on its own, I am really liking the fact that that lime flavor is really coming out now on top of a slight spice that it's got. It really adds a very nice flavor to just the tastiness of the burger itself. Awesome. It looks like the only casualty of this burger that's left out of the party is the flavor of that white American, which is not really coming through at all considering the strong flavors of the burgers themselves. But again, that is the glue to hold everything together and that is the purpose of it, I believe, to keep that tostada shell in check on top of this burger. And then you have the guacamole staying in check underneath the top of the bun. But guys, a very nice build on this one, a lot of flavor and one that I would easily recommend giving a shot pretty delicious. But as always, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Are any of you already fans of the char burgers here at The Habit? And if you are, how excited are you to give this one a shot with that tostada shell and that fresh guacamole on top? Because on the real guys, the value of what you get for the money is pretty solid with those high quality ingredients and the flavor is pretty off the chart. But again, that's just my opinion. Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And as for my overall score, I'm going to have to give the guacamole crunch char burger here at The Habit a rock solid 9 out of 10. The only thing holding this back for me at least, you guessed it, is going to be the cheese on this guys unfortunately it really is just the glue to hold everything together like i always say in these types of reviews but i can't help but feel like maybe a sharper slice of cheddar or maybe pepper jack could have really taken this one up even further guys but on its own it is delicious don't get me wrong definitely give this one a shot highly worth your time and those are my thoughts on one of the latest char burgers here at the habit as we close out another episode of peep this out guys and like i always say got brand new content every single week here on my channel so while you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon in the meantime stay frosty Respect the burger, no matter where it's from. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.